Hey everybody, just want to report an accident that just happened. If you happen to be in the area on Goodlett Frank and Fleischman, there's an accident that just happened here at the corner. They're, they're trying to move it off, but right now, Goodlett Frank at least uh, doesn't have too much of a backup. But there are people having a hard time getting off of Fleischman here. Overall, it doesn't seem that bad, but hopefully everybody's okay. You can see it's a three car accident. We'll just zoom in here so you can see what happened. This truck over here, I'm not sure which direction it was heading in, but it has some severe front end damage. And that officer there who's at the that silver vehicle, that Subaru, that has some severe front end damage. And then there's a Jaguar convertible. Yeah, the Jaguar convertible. There's officers directing people around. It's also got some severe front end damage. So like everyone looks like collided here. I don't know if somebody was trying to make a left turn. Somebody ran a red light. No, I'm not exactly sure. I'm trying to hold this thing steady. Yeah. You can see he's trying to get independent stories watching this unfold here about how they're going to determine what happened. Obviously the officer doesn't seem like he knows what happened. So uh, he wants everyone to remain apart from each other and there's all this debris. Well, there's a lot of debris on the road. I always try to avoid going down Fleischman here if at all possible. And even on Goodlit Frank heading south there's debris in the road. So you might want to avoid it just for that. Who knows if you're going to end up with a flat tire or something. Yeah, there's somebody else taking pictures. You can see that officer is talking right now to the the owner of that Toyota. It's like an older lifted up Toyota pickup truck. And he's describing what happened. So he's got his story looking around the vehicle. I'm sure they, police officers have plenty of experience with this stuff. Obviously, people are getting frustrated here. Yeah, hopefully there's not going to be any more accidents. You definitely want to stay away from this area if you can, especially heading south on Goodlit Frank. It seems like there wasn't much traffic there when I first started this video, but it's starting to build up. And who knows what else is going to happen as a result of this. This accident just happened. I, I didn't witness the accident, but I heard the impact. It was pretty severe. And also, the horn, some of these horns were just on. I don't know if someone had laid on the horn at the time of the accident, or if the accident had um, started up one of the horns blowing, but it seemed like it wouldn't turn off. Oh, look at that, listen to that, oh my gosh. Yeah, I would, I would stay away from this, this intersection if you can. It seems like there's just gonna be maybe something else happening. I guess you know, the officer's gotta investigate that lady there has got her convertible and the big package sticking out of the back. I don't know if it was actually sticking up like that or not. The officer's asking if he needs a tow truck. Obviously, people are totally impatient here. Yeah, this, there's starting to become a lot of traffic lined up along Fleischman here, just getting off the good with Frank. So he's trying to get, the, the officer's trying to get the story from her. He's gone from one driver to the next. And I'm interested to find out what happened now. Like I said, I heard it. I heard the crash, but everyone's got front end damage. And you can see that the Toyota truck is, I don't know if he drove up off the road or if he just landed off the road after the impact. Another, it's the Collier County Sheriff, yeah, he's coming in to help direct uh, traffic because they definitely need some help directing, uh, uh, directing traffic here. Like he's gonna, he might block the road, or at least part of it. Well, I don't know if it's a he or she, I shouldn't say that. That officer's going out to direct traffic now. I actually asked him to back up. Yeah, I think they're not gonna let people down. 
most likely at least some of these portions of the road there's, there's a lot of debris in the road fluids from those cars too at least, at least fortunate that nobody got hurt everybody seems to be walking around that's just a testament to the fact that cars seem to be safer these days even though that Toyota this Toyota looks like a gosh it looks like maybe an 80s vintage Toyota truck but it was lifted way off the ground so on, one of these, on these lifted trucks you know they the point of impact is so much lower if it was not lifted he that truck driver probably Toyota truck driver probably would have been severely hurt those vintage Toyota trucks are not very safe they're not the safest vehicles out there that's for sure I know that but that Jaguar convertible looks newer that Subaru looks newer silver Subaru hear that vehicles crunching over debris in the road. Back it up. Back it up again so you can see the whole scene. So I'm, it's, I'm guessing they're going to have to wait for three tow trucks to get here, and then that's going to be a process. So the road might be, who knows, the road might be at least partially blocked off, if not totally blocked off, once these tow trucks get here. So, yeah, but again, I don't see, fortunately, I don't see anybody hurt. But it was quite an impact, I'll tell you, it made quite a noise when these, thing, when these vehicles collided. how fast they were going I'm guessing that Subaru was was just stopped maybe that Subaru was an innocent bystander and I mean my guess looking at the whole situation is that that Toyota the blue Toyota was probably turning left probably heading north on Goodlett Frank made a left turn here on the Fleischman right in front of the red Jaguar the red Jaguar slammed on the brakes hit it knocked the Toyota into the Subaru and the Toyota had a lot of momentum he's probably flooring it even though he was probably yeah, because there's probably only the Toyota moving and, and the Jaguar convertible moving. And he probably ended up there. That's my guess. And if that's the case, unless that Jaguar ran a red light, it would be an unsafe left turn. Basically in front of a vehicle where he thought he could make it. And just didn't, didn't make it. Wasn't fast enough. And ended up taking that Subaru out, out my guess is just an innocent bystander well actually the, I mean for that matter the Jaguar was probably an innocent by just innocent driver although it kind of it kind of gives you um, kind of reminds you to be a defensive driver because I there was probably enough time Considering that that Jaguar looks like in the right lane, if they were, if that Jaguar driver was really paying attention to see that Toyota truck driver try to try to cut in front on making a left turn, probably could have jabbed on the brakes quick enough to avoid an impact. Not to say it was Jaguar's car's fault. I don't think it was, but it may have been able to be avoidable. But you know how it is nowadays. People are so distracted. People are always in a hurry, and these that's why these things happen. Yeah, it's also got me thinking too. I've, just about self-driving cars. I think that if at least one of these cars was self-driving, it may have avoided the accident. I mean self-driving, I just mean having some kind of awareness in terms of newer systems that are on vehicles. There comes a tow truck. Newer systems that are on vehicles like collision avoidance systems that automatically apply the brakes. I don't know if the Jaguar had it or not, and if it did, it probably wasn't working. But if the Jaguar had a system like that, it may have avoided this accident. That older Toyota, there's no way it's going to have a system like that. But making a left turn, it's not going to function on somebody making an unsafe left turn anyway, I don't think. These are just my thoughts. If you guys have any idea, let me know as well. But the bigger thing is, look at the, look at the traffic uh, backups here on Goodlett Frank heading south. This is right at the Coastland Center Mall. 
it's all the way back to all the way through Golden Gate so don't even bother trying to head south on Goodlett Frank right now and I don't know about north but north may be just as bad and definitely don't try to to get to Goodlett Frank from Fleischman you can forget about it yeah they're gonna get the Jaguar out first that, that that'll free up Goodlett Frank once they get that car out of the way and in my experience too when these accidents happen usually unless there's some kind of giant piece of oh, half of a windshield laying in the ground they don't really clean up any of the debris nobody seems to, to do that so be really really careful if you're driving south about debris in the road And that front end is pretty, pretty well crunched down on that Jaguar. I wonder if we have trouble getting in on the flatbed. I'll try to hold this as steady as I can. It's quite a distance from me. It's really zoomed in. But you can get the idea. I don't know. The person's probably trying to put it in neutral. Yeah, people are turning around here on Fleischmann. They're just, they're just not waiting any longer. They're all turning around. The officer's asking that truck, the blue Toyota thing about getting something out of the back. I don't know what. Oh, there it is. It's a TV. Okay. TV out of the Jaguar. That's what, that's what was sticking out of the Jaguar. It was a TV somebody just bought. It looks like it anyway. Ultra high definition television. I wonder if it still works after that impact. Well, I gotta zoom out. It just doesn't want to be... Even though I'm holding this thing steady, it just doesn't seem to remain steady when it's zoomed in that far. Yeah, people are not happy going south on Goodlet Frank. But these officers are making quick work of this. It's like City of Naples. Yeah, it's City of Naples uh, police that are working this. And they've got the tow truck out here. All this has happened fairly quickly. Now they're, they're working as fast as they can. I think they're, at, they're probably having some issues here with the way that Jaguar is crunched in on the front and just, they're probably, I'm sure they can get, if they get a winch, they can pull it up. But it's definitely gonna be challenging. Guys here trying to see what's going on. What they know that guy? I guess they do. Maybe they're waiting for him or something. Like I said earlier, at least everybody's okay. It doesn't seem like anybody was injured. And I do think that you know that the newer newer cars play a good part in that newer vehicles, much safer vehicles. That Subaru and the Jaguar look newer. The Toyota, much, much older, but it was jacked up. It was lifted way it's lifted way up. And that saved that driver from the impact. The impact went into the frame and not the actual body of that truck. So I'm sure he's shaking up but I have a feeling he may have to answer to the police officers before this is all over. Cars are still turning around here on Fleischmann. Yeah, nobody's waiting around on Fleischmann. Uh, that line goes way back, way back there. That truck just hasn't caught up yet. Some kind of beer truck or something. Even a car right here is turning around. They're just not going to wait. It shouldn't be too much longer. They've got a winch. Yeah, they got a winch on the uh, convertible. It's going up.
Well, like I mentioned earlier, if you were watching earlier, I think this is just a, this, a, a, Toyota, a blue Toyota pickup truck trying to make a left turn off of Goodlett Frank on the Fleischmann and just was taking way too much of a risk trying to trying to make some do something he probably shouldn't have done and that created the collision with the Jaguar convertible heading south on Goodlett Frank and also that collision slammed him into that Subaru that was waiting here on Fleischmann to make a left onto Goodlett Frank going north. That's my guess as to what happened but if you're watching earlier the officer went in, went through and interviewed each of the drivers separately. I mean they're all kind of together a little bit at the beginning but uh, he separated them all once he got here and went through and interviewed them all separately to get get each other's stories. Yeah, at least he's okay. And, you know, these vehicles can be fixed or replaced or they're just, they're just stuff anyway. At least everybody's okay. Hopefully they'll, they'll learn from it. Won't, won't do it again. The wipers are still going on that Jaguar. Did you see that? They're still going. The intermittent wipers. <laughs> He's just going to pull off the side of the road. I wonder if they're going to turn those wipers off. If they even can. To disconnect the battery. You probably should disconnect the battery. And they're also doing some construction here. As you can see, they've been doing construction. This may have added to the confusion of making left turns. You see all these these wire rolls. I don't know if they're doing some kind of cable installation or something here. Still, we're, we're back way up on Fleischmann. Don't even think about heading east on Fleischmann. Don't even think about it. And don't even think about heading south on Goodlet Frank either. Just south of Golden Gate near the mall, the Coastal Center Mall, forget it. And North isn't looking any better right now. I think everyone's just kind of watching what's going on. People are trying to make left turns off of, off of Goodlit Frank onto Fleischmann, and of course that's not going to happen for a while. Yeah, so those two two uh, ladies over there, they were in that Jaguar. I th well, actually, I don't know. Maybe only one of them was. Maybe one was in the Subaru. No, somebody's checking out the Subaru. They're going to get Subaru next because the, the Toyota truck ended up off the road anyway. Yeah, they're rolling it back. I guess they, I think they're going to roll it back. He's just going to roll it right back to the uh, wrecker and I guess maybe tow it on the ground. He's just one man. One man. Oh, yeah, it's, two, it's two. Two of them, though. Pushing that car back. It was one of the officers and the tow truck driver. They've got most of the road clear now. Like I said, they didn't clear any of the debris off. I didn't think that they would. They've still got one lane block heading south on Goodlett Frank, and they're not letting anybody turn left from Goodlett Frank on the Fleischmann. You can see the officer pulled off the street here. So most of the vehicles are off the road now. That's good. Hopefully traffic will fairly quickly get back to normal. There's somebody over there trying to fertilize the grass or something over here. Got one of those motorized fertilizer things. Well, there's somebody sweeping. Is that the tow truck driver? It might be. All right, well, they are cleaning up. That's even better than I thought. It's 
So I guess the, both of them are going to need rods. Looks like they have somebody there with them. Well, everything's off the road. Just got to get these cars towed. They cleaned it up pretty, pretty quick. And I guess it's only going to be a matter of time until this, very short time until that city of Naples police SUV moves out of the way and then everything's back to normal. Like they're making left turns already off of Fleischmann on, on the Goodlet Frank. So the worst is over. It'll get better. Just got to get all these cars through here. Still some backup here, but that's about it. At least nobody got hurt. Be safe out there, everybody.